having a pretty crappy day, but I'm at Ross. Focus, focus. I'm at Ross. So we're going to see if we have any decent finds, man. I spent like $300 today in tires and brakes. So I'm very unhappy about it because I also have to get an inspection, which is going to be like another $50. Then I have to pay my whatever insurance for tags so that's gonna be like another 150 so i need to make it i would like to find some of them 300 baseball bats that would be nice let's see what they got up in ross All right, so this is the moment of truth. See how we did? First of all, the soles are trash. Wow. They did not come out well at all. I'm going to rewash these, actually. Um, I think I'm going to rewash these in hot water with bleach. That means the laces probably didn't come out either. I'm going to have to untangle these. So here are the shoes. The scuffs are kind of in there pretty deep, pretty good. Wow. And this leather is cracking pretty bad right here. I'm not worried about the creasing. You can get creasing now. I'm more worried about the scuffing and it's like some type of paint rub. I don't know what that could be. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to let these dry and I'm going to guinea pig these. I think I'm going to probably customize them. And also because this tag is no good right here. You see the tag is like ripped off. So I do have another pair of shoes I could like Frankenstein some things from. But I'm not going to do that. I think what I'm going to do is actually customize these. As long as I can get the sole white. Which will probably take a couple of uh, Salon Care 40 treatments outside. See, whatever that is, is all on the sole too. I might just have to trash these. Even though they're, they're structurally sound, it's just that I don't think they're going to be worth saving. I don't think these are worth saving. It was a good try, but I don't think these are really worth saving And at this juncture. They're structurally sound. They just need a good paint job. Maybe I'm not even going to say it. I have an idea what I could do with these shoes. I think they could. I think these might be getting customized, bro. I think they might be getting customized. First and foremost, I got to find something to do about the outsole i think maybe some dye for the outsole and then you know the the uppers this is just leather you can paint right over this and then the tag i can just find some fabric you know heat set some fabric over top of there you know i think i'm gonna i think i'm gonna customize these i need some ideas for some customs what type of nikes because it's the perfect white palette this is the perfect white palette ready to go ready to be painted like i said i'm not worried about not worried about anything so we'll see i might just make them some white air ones i might just bring them back to like regular condition of white air ones even though these are the air force ones uh what are they the 86s or 82s or yeah they did the 82s so i don't know these are going to be customized though i'm gonna these are structurally sound shoes there's no reason to throw them away uh even if i just bring them back white just repaint them back white I don't see any problem with that. I don't see any problem with just repainting them back white. But I think I'm going to do something a little bit different. I think I'm going to try my hand at some customizing.
All right, so we got these back out the laundry, dried them overnight. So now I just have to get the creasing out. So we got the shoes taped up. This took forever. Got the Nike checks taped up. So now we're just going to get to dyeing. Everything you see will be black. All of it. I was going to make this part red and then have to check coming out as red. And you know, no, it's going to be all black. Everything's going to be black. This check is going to be blue. The other one's going to be red. There is the first coat. I'm going to set these outside to dry. And I'm going to hit another coat tomorrow. Did not mess my hands up. Team no gloves. Even though I got gloves here, I was just too lazy to put them on. So yeah, first coat. Looking pretty decent. Final step before lacing these up and calling them done. We're gonna hit it with some water repellent just to give it an extra coating to protect the dye and the paint. This is how you use this. Spray outdoors. One more thing I'm gonna test out is I'm going to test using this dull coat. This is Tester's dull coat. There we go, dull coat. And that is the UPC if you want to buy some. And it's, this is good for painting and when you're doing like custom action figures and anything you don't want shiny. I'm going to try it on these shoes because the shoes, the dye, it just came out really, really shiny. And I just waterproofed them, but I still just don't like how it looks. So I'm going to put on this dual coat and see if I can get them looking factory-ish.